our subdivision was built on an open farmland a decade ago. I have been trying to control or eradicate fire ants from my lawn since shortly after we moved in. One area that has been affected is in my wife's raspberry patch. So we don't want to apply any poison willy nilly there. Are beneficial nematodes effective to control fire ants? And this is Thomas from Louisville, Tennessee. Well, maybe he's looked Such at research. Yeah, question. maybe he's okay. found some research that, that yeah. talked about them being ser searching about nematodes. But from what I know about fire ants and nematodes, that it's not effective. So I don't think the nematodes are going to help him any. Uh, I don't. I, and I know he's got them in his raspberry. Well, you know, fire ants are pretty easy to move right. by simply disturbing mm -hmm. them, and they don't like to be disturbed. Right. Maybe if they are disturbed, he can put them in other areas. You know, that they'll, they'll go to another area where he can right. put some, some bait or something on them. Baits, it will, what is it called? There's a two-step. Yeah, the Texas two-step. Yeah. Yeah, we use a bait. Mm -hmm. uh, you let the, you know, the ants take it back, you know, to the mound. Uh, then, you know, a couple of weeks later, you use a mound drench, mm -hmm. right? Um, but as far as the beneficial nematodes, yeah. so I did read a publication okay. from Florida Extension yeah. about these very beneficial nematodes. They are not effective. They pretty much just cause the ants to move away. Well, right. if he wants them to move them out of the raspberry, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it would be away. easier to me to just disturb it because they don't like to be disturbed. I, I would agree. So, and of course, the publication went on to say what we just finished talking about, use the baits. Yeah. Use the baits. But here's something, too, about using the baits. Don't use them in your raspberry patch. Oh, no. Because that's a food crop. So what I would do is probably sprinkle, you know, those baits in an adjacent lawn, right, and just let the ants go get it and take it back to the mound, right? Mm-hmm. You'd be fine with that. Yeah. But yeah, not in your raspberry patch. All right. Again, you know, interesting questions. I, I can see why you would want to do that. Definitely. Right. But yeah, the, those beneficial nematodes are not effective. Yeah. And, <laughs> the fires just, yeah, just go away. And just I have moves. had people put boiling water on the uh -huh. mounds, but, uh -huh. but that's, that's too dangerous uh, to it's do. It's so dangerous. Yeah. And, um, and, and, and if it's good, you don't want to put that kind of, hot water on your raspberry roots anyway yeah. so I mean I, I'm try, you know so yeah I get <laughs> disturbing them Just disturbing. To, to, to get them out of that area would be the best thing to do it'll be the best thing to do best thing to do and again if you're going to use a bait which we do suggest mm -hmm. but not in your raspberry not, not in, no. adjacent lawn the dance bring it back to the mound to the queen take care of it that way we hope you enjoyed the video. We have hundreds more. To subscribe, just click below.